We already have all the high end stuff already over we understand. on the plaza. Yeah. That, you know, you're kind of, I mean, obviously it meets a, a criteria. Wouldn't it be nice to have affordable and healthy? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to say subway on television on the thing, but you know, I did, though. But. Uh, the, uh, do, uh, do you have uh, the, the uh, roof garden? Yes, we have yeah. two, two roof gardens. Is, is that going to be like a public or privately owned public open space? Nope. Or no, nope. just, no, it's public. just a standard private residential Perfect. rooftop, so everyone in the building gets to use it. Different than the downtown office. Are uh, there any balconies? Uh, do you units have balconies? Yeah, about half the units have balconies. And in fact, if, yeah, I can, I can give this to you. Uh, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the units have balconies, so both on Willow and on Hay Street. So if you, you can either use your balcony or you can use the roof deck, so you can use so the garden. So what conditional uses will you need? Um, this is a, what's called a, um, a, a, it's a planned unit development, a PUD. So it's all, it's done under one, one conditional use approval at the planning commission. So you don't need anything for uh, no variance, no variance, no. Variance, no. Or, and your building within the uh, the, the height limits of the uh, area. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, any other questions? How much long? How long is it going to be before this is built? Well, that's a harder question. So we're hoping to be approved in December or January. Um, right now, construction costs are so high that we cannot finance construction yet. So. Um, our best, the most optimistic projection would be maybe we commence construction at the end of 2017 or 2018. Yeah, and, and for those of you that are in the business um, of building things, um, the Bay Area right now, construction costs are the highest of anywhere in the entire United States. We have a massive labor shortage because nobody can move here because there's not enough housing. So you should be better in the business of destruction instead of construction? I, I'm all for positive construction. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, yeah. well, you had to tear something down maybe to build something up, so. So, so even if we get approved at the end, uh, you know, December, January, it would probably be a, a long time before we actually break ground. We're, by the way, really thrilled that the Van Ness BRT is coming through. Yay. <laughs> it's taking away all the trees. Um, yeah, well, change is always hard. And, uh, You're going to pull them back. Change is always hard. But you know what? Next, if it doesn't hurt a little bit, it's not real change. That's what I always say. Yeah. Well, um, but if those, but those that live there have, have well, life is, a problem life is, like that. Yes. Exactly. But life is full of change. Did you I, get, did I really appreciate the honorable work that SFNT does because it's a, it's a hard task. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there any other questions for the presenter? Thank you. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for hosting. Uh, like I said, here's your contact. Um, contact uh, Marvis. I have his phone number. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Marvis, for a follow-up. All right. Uh, so the next item is the Planning Commission Report. Uh, Mr. Lee, would you like to I'm doing the film. I'm doing the video. Huh? I'm doing the video. You. You, you know, you want somebody to do, to do the video, right? Do you want to break for food and then? No, no, because we have to do this matter of time. So okay. Start. Uh -huh. Okay. So we want to. So, I mean, people can get out of the chairs. Uh -huh. and, uh, if they want to grab yeah, food. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll. we'll so do you need stuff passed out? Uh, yeah. Annie's going to pass some stuff out. So I'll, I'll introduce myself. Is this okay for your video? Yes, yes. Are you here? Okay, yeah. Okay. This is fine, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube, you know. Well, I'll be a YouTube star before you know it. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, my name is Amber. I'm here representing the SFMTA. And instead of presenting to you tonight, what we'd like to do is ask for your feedback about how the SFMTA engages the public. So this is like a. Uh, imagine public engagement is a two-way street. 
So we want to hear from you about how you think the SFMTA gives you information, and then how the SFMTA is getting information from you. So we have a series of questions to roll through, and we're going to, um, I'm going to ask you a couple things, we'll have you raise your hand, and then what I'd really like to do is just kind of hear your feedback, where Annie's going to take some notes so that we can take the information that we gather tonight. And what we're doing is updating the SFMTA's public participation plan. And so this is a plan that guides how they do public engagement. So how they give you guys information about what they're doing and then how they hear from you and make sure that you, you know that they're hearing from you. And we're joined tonight by an SFMTA staffer, Bradley. I want, I want you to just say a couple words and introduce yourself. So, uh, I, I can yeah, talk fresh, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Uh, My name is Bradley Dunn, um, and I'm the District 6 liaison. As I, I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, my card's getting passed around. But um, basically, my job, uh, one of my jobs at the SFMTA is to uh, be your guide to, you know, if you have problems, if you have questions, to making sure that you're getting to where you need to go within the agency. Uh, we're a large agency, um, so. You know, I'm come around to meetings. So uh, you know, uh, pretty regularly uh, to try to meet people, meet the community. And if you guys have questions about any of our projects, I can put you in touch with you know the right people. Um, you know, to make sure that your questions get answered. Um, so you know, we're I'm, my my role is part of the proactive uh, outreach that the SFMTA is trying to do. To make sure that people are aware of the projects, what's going on. Um, and uh, can provide uh, an easy corridor for feedback to the agency. So I'm going to leave you in Amber's uh, capable hands. Thank you, Bradley. So I'm going to start off with an easy question. I'm just going to ask you all to raise your hand if you're aware that the SFMTA holds community meetings, board meetings, meetings for the community to learn about projects and programs. No, well, I've got. They're only coming. Yeah, right. Two hands raised. Okay, great. So I'm going to ask you a little bit more about for the folks who raised their hands. I'd love to hear how you heard about those meetings. How did you learn about the meetings? Uh, forward for forwarding by email different uh, things. Uh, uh, I was at something uh, years ago where they had meetings about some plans they made. And uh, uh, so I find your email address. Gotcha. So yeah. you're on the email. So you're getting emails directly from MTA. Uh, Not from me. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. So through the community organization. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can I ask? Signs on the bus. Okay, on the so bus. It's different. Um, like this, uh -huh. some are wider, and it was like they were doing some planning for Van S. Um, yeah. Um, express some something, and there would be um, community input at this time. Blah blah blah. And, uh -huh. You can see things up for about a month to six weeks before mm -hmm. they have and stuff. Okay. And so then, can I ask if you didn't attend those meetings, did not attend, is there a reason why you did not attend the community meeting for you two specifically? And then I'm going to broaden that question. I don't ride the meeting when it's dark. Gotcha. I'll take a cab, but during the day, it, did, it didn't really affect me that much. Gotcha. Okay, so it didn't affect you. And how about you? I, I try. Um, I've gone to some. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm interested in the uh, the program for uh, elderly. Uh, yes. And uh, I know someone that lost their or was stolen their their their, their uh, Clipper card. card mm -hmm. And she, he or she, can't remember which, mm -hmm. wanted. You know, like they say, I went up to the I went up to the to the uh, to the building and the cubicle. Uh, the you know the, yeah. and you know they just um, they couldn't. Do, uh, it was not very. Um, user friendly yeah and okay. they want to explain that uh, you know they lost the card how did they get a new one and they say well what's your password and people you know when people go through that stuff they most people don't like that yeah it was you know yeah okay and so let me broaden this question to everyone in the room yeah. are are there topics or areas of interest that if MTA was going to hold a meeting you would be interested in going so let's think about um, you know, sometimes they will do meetings around fare increases, uh, schedule changes, like if they're going to move the bus or increase, you 
you know, the bus uh, reliability. Are there are there topics that you're interested in? Maybe it would urge you to go to a meeting. Yeah. I, I would I would go to a meeting at seven thirty at night if the topic were a problem that's getting worse and worse, and I'm talking on the 22 Fillmore line, the nine mission, um, several other lines at say two in the afternoon. More and more people are bringing baby buggies on the bus, and these are buggies that will hold twins. Uh -huh. And it looks cute on the sidewalk, but they're putting their pets in them. Uh -huh. And the, the aisles, you know, it's, huh. it's, 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 yeah, it's Like in a baby stroller? Yes, but the, the problem is the aisles are so tiny, right. you have to yeah. walk oh, sideways, yeah. squeeze in, and try to get around them. Between that, two walkers, uh -huh. one or two power chairs, and people that are really going beyond the limit of the companion dog. The dog is not a helper dog. They're pulling the dog, and the dogs are not muzzled, because and the dogs are rock riders, and, oh. and, and I and other people have gotten off the bus when it's so crowded. If that dog got switched, it's going to lunge at anyone near them. And, okay. uh, and a power chair stepping on the tail would cause it to just go forward and clamp onto whatever they right. see, which is people. So maybe rider issues it's, uh, would it's, The drivers don't care. The drivers don't tell people to move. You've got one person blocking the door to try and get out the front, and another one in the back. The doors are this wide yeah. with two parts. When you got someone standing there, I'm getting off, please excuse me. Yeah. And they go, well, I, I can't walk through you, you're not a ghost. <laughs> and the driver will tell you, that's your problem, I'm not getting knifed mm -hmm. because of you. They don't help a bit. Yeah. I, I'm a senior, I'm pushing 64. I look a little younger. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, I know, I don't that look. But thank you. Um, makes me feel good, I just had a birthday. But the problem is, um, I, I, I sit next to people and we say things and we look at each other and we go, will they do anything besides ride the bus? Go, I don't get involved, that's their problem. I'm not getting knocked because of you. Mm -hmm. You don't like it, take it to us. Seriously. Hmm. Thank you for that feedback. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. And there's a lot of people that are afraid right. of what is a 13, 14 year old kid because they'll go to a juvenile hall and nothing much. They'll get to see their friends. They don't care if they hurt us. <laughs> okay. But even they openly verbalize it. Right. I don't care if I get sent there. I see all my pals. Right. So well, thank you for sharing. I'm sorry that you're having those kind of rider issues, of but people, it's good to know all, all that you would be in that meeting. problem, and they get scared because we could get on. Right. And I saw a hand over here. Okay. I very uh, comfortable with uh, the. Uh, movie I use uh, very often. Mm, oh, you do? Yes. Great. I love bus. I saw trouble a little, some, sometimes not too much. Um, people don't get in, don't get in, uh, yes. And our bus driver throws a quarter uh, of yeah. the people very sad. Yes. Yeah. But uh, not often. It sounds like there are a lot of rider issues that might be appropriate for a meeting. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. With okay. Me, it's uh, those new buses are. I don't like them at all. The new ones. Uh huh. Yeah. You have the, to walk yeah. upstairs. And yeah. The senior citizens have less room to sit. What about the new ones where you just walk on, where there are no stairs? That's what he means. Those are not. As you don't like those because you have to walk upstairs when you're on the bus. In the back. Okay. If you want gotcha. to yeah, if you want to come upstairs, if you want to the, uh, sure, the uh, sure, sure, senior sure. citizen thing is right. cut way down. Ah, uh, in the new buses. Yeah, in the new buses. Yes. Okay, so some sort of ability to provide feedback yes. on the new buses. Gotcha. And anyone on this side of the room, uh, what issues are you interested in that would inspire uh, MTA? I see a hand in the back. How about you? Uh, I was at the uh, general hospital today from the mail. That two of the uh, lines in front of me. Uh huh. Bus was really, really bad. Yeah, really full. And a lot of people still sitting up there, couldn't get in. Yeah. But then we see a lot of people standing from the front to the back. It's bad. Gotcha. And standing by the door. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I don't know what's the limit to the right. passengers to get in the bus, but right. what okay. I've seen today was really great. 
Yeah, that makes it makes sense. And I'd love to ask. So let's say that you were interested in going to a meeting that the SFMTA was going to host. What makes sense for you for time of day? Do you I and mean, do you want it on a weekend? Do you want a, a meeting that's at night, like at six o'clock? I think I heard seven o'clock over here would be good. Is a daytime meeting at like you know three or four? We talked to some students who were asking for meetings right after school. What makes the most sense for when the meeting would be hosted? How about in the back? We haven't heard from you. It would be better in a daytime instead of at night because you know the time is going to change anyway. Yeah. So it's going to be darker. And it gets darker, right? Yeah, definitely for the winter. That's to be. Okay. Well, you talk about what we'd like to have the meetings around. There are programs like shop around and things that. Are services that you know, I've seen posters of it, uh -huh. but I don't. You know, it's sort of like we, we kind of would like to have some kind of explanation of how do you get on, you know, what what uh -huh. okay. where you know, because uh, there are people uh, you know it's hard for them to, to they you know they don't want to take taxis back and forth. Sure. And, uh, sure. So just understanding what the programs and services that are available yeah. to residents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Um, as somebody that's put on. Uh, Various times. We've had meetings at in the early afternoon, uh, early morning for the service providers, and late at night for the residents. You see, so the reality is it's the target population you're serving. Uh -huh. um, and uh, and you put in like three of them, uh, 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 we just call it a stakeholder meeting, and mm -hmm. whoever is accessible uh, and knows about it can go mm -hmm. to the one that's appropriate for them. But the thing is, uh, uh, you're never going to find any one time. So it, it's it kind is of a, a challenge. question. Yeah. And so, you know, uh, people work. If they work, they're going to have to go after work. If right. they don't work, then they, they, uh, the they have to go sometime during the day or when they feel safe. And, and then uh, if it's, uh, uh, if you're, if you're, most people, uh, like they, in this neighborhood, people go to a, a hearing at City Hall only during work hours. And as soon as their agenda is called, or even if their agenda is not called, they leave mm -hmm. because they're no longer getting paid. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, even though the issue is very important for the neighborhood or related right. to their job, they'll leave as soon as it's no longer um, on pay time. Gotcha. And so, uh, and which is very annoying to see because that just means that they're doing their job versus doing something for the community. Uh, and as far as the, the residents, again, it's the same problem because they sometimes take the cue from the uh, service providers. Uh, and we don't, we're finally starting to get uh, resident activists in this uh -huh. neighborhood. Um, and they're learning that they need to start speaking out and going to City Hall. Um, but the, the thing is that uh, we still, um, the, 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 the mechanisms are not really in place. Uh, uh, the way they should be because uh, people are uh, end up being paid out of this and they only they're basically being told by the agency these are the things that we should go check out and they're not uh, autonomous to that and so therefore they're not going out um, autonomously mm -hmm. going to the meetings they're only going to the ones that their uh, affiliations are telling them about mm -hmm. and so uh, that that just means that they're showing up because it's, oh, well, they're going to be fed before they go. Right. And are, you know, there's their allegiance to the agency that's telling them about it. Uh, and, uh, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I run various message boards and try to get people out. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, i give you an example. Um, I have over 600 subscribers to Nextdoor, mm -hmm. and they were all told about this meeting. Mm -hmm. one. How many people are here from Nextdoor? No, this no. is a gr this is no, actually a great segue to my next question, which is, how do you want to hear about I the meetings? No, 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 no. It's an online service. <laughs> Computer thing. We're from next door. But, 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 but I'm just. Uh, well, we're all. Yeah, we're all. <laughs> he's talking about you lose next how, door to the building. I'd love to hear from the folks in the room. How do you, if if there was a meeting that was at the right time of day for you that you were interested in the topic, how's the best way for SFMTA to get in touch with you and tell you about the meeting? So I think you all heard about us being here. You know, it's pretty obvious, but working through community-based organizations, do you check Facebook? Are you, do you see um, other folks suggested maybe posters on I bus shelters? Posters. posters on buses. Posters. Uh, yeah, okay, po posters on the buses. A lot of us don't even use the internet. 
Gotcha. Okay. I wouldn't know if I'd accept to lose the hall by the elevator. Uh, gotcha. So just yeah. even like a sign in, in the residence. Right. What about text-based messages? So, um, you know, uh, 